Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about cube of a binomial. So for example, we have x plus 2 quantity cube. Remember, it is also the same with x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. Remember, the product of the cube of a binomial is the sum of four terms which each term can be obtained as follow. First term, you are going to cube the first term. To get the second term, you are going to 3 times the square of the first term times the second term. To get the third term, 3 times the first term times the square of the second term. And to get the fourth term, the cube of the second term. So to understand it further, let's have an example. x plus 2 quantity cube. So this one will be the pattern. As I said earlier, to get the product of the cube of a binomial, first, you are going to cube the first term. So the first term here is x plus 3 times the first term or the square of the first term, times 2, plus 3 times the first term, times the square of the second term, plus the cube of the last term, or the second term. Now, remember the pattern. First, the first term, you are going to cube the first term. In the second term, you are going to multiply 3 times the square of the first term times the second term. And to get the third term, you are going to multiply 3 times the first term times the square of the second term. And to get the fourth term, you are going to cube the second term. Observe the exponent of the pattern 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3. First term, first term, second term. First term, second term, second term. Okay, let's simplify. x quantity cube is equal to x cube. And 3 times x quantity squared times 2 will become 6x squared. Why? We all know that there is 1 here, ha? Huh? So 3 times 1 times 2 is equal to 6 and x quantity squared will become x squared. That's why we have 6x squared here. Next, simplify the third term. So, before we multiply this 3 to the other given, simplify first this one. So, it will become 4 because 2 squared or 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Now, we all know that there is 1 here. So, 3 times 1 is equal to 3 times 4 is equal to 12 and just copy x that's why we have 12x here and then 3 cube or 3 quantity cube is equal to 8 why 8 because 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8 so therefore our final answer is x cube plus 6x squared plus 12x plus 8. Let's have another example. y minus 6 quantity cube. Again, this will be our pattern. So you are going to cube the first term plus 3 times the square of the first term times the second term plus 3 times the first term times the square of the second term plus the cube of the second term or the last term. Now simplify. y quantity cube is equal to y cube plus 3 times 1 is equal to 3 times negative 6 will become negative 18. Then y raised to 2 or or y quantity squared is equal to y squared. Then, to simplify this, 
first, you are going to simplify negative 6 squared, so it will become 36. Okay? So, 3 times 1 is equal to 3, and 3 times 36 is equal to 108. And don't forget to copy y. Next is, negative 6 cubed is equal to negative 216. Why? Because negative 6 times negative 6 is equal to positive 36 or 36. And 36 times 6 is equal to... And 36 times negative 6 is equal to negative 216. So, the final answer is y cubed minus 18y squared plus 108y minus 216. Another example. 2x plus 3 quantity cubed. So, again, this one will be the pattern. So, write the first term here. First term again, last term. First term, last term, last term. Okay, then simplify. 2x quantity cubed will become 8x cubed. Why? Because 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. And x raised to 3 is equal to x cubed. Plus, so again, simplify first this one. Kasi may exponent siya. So, 2 times 2 will become 4. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Times 3 is equal to 36. And x quantity square is equal to x squared. Next, simplify this one. Ito munang 3. Ito munang 3 square. So, it will become 9. Always remember, apply the PEMDAS, ha? Okay, so 3 times 2 times 9 is equal to 54. Then, copy x. Then, simplify this one. 3 cubed will become 27. Why? Because 3 times 3 is equal to 9 times 3 is equal to 27. So, the final answer here is 8x cubed plus 36x squared plus 54x plus 27. Now, it's your turn. Find the product of the following. If you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, product of a binomial and a trinomial. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone!